this fair play 2333 and i want to give a salute to all my cinema cronies welcome back to the power book multiverse and cinema show where you get the latest in power universe and cinema breakdown I, I, I just want the life that in this can't afford we whip, we whipping them babies once you can't afford not looking for beef but some you can't avoid and if i'm on a mission is you on the voyage now, I believe it's a lot more spinoffs that are coming to power, and I think that Ghost will be coming to power, like the spinoff of Tommy and Ghost growing up. Now, I told y'all a while ago when 50 Cent lost all that weight, y'all can check out the video on my channel. I basically said only reason it would be for him to lose weight is because he's going to start filming the spinoff. And he's going to be playing the older version of himself as Kanan. So the 20 year old version of himself as Kanan. Um, I'm going to tell you one sad part to this, man. The saddest part about this is that Marcus, I mean Marcus, Marquise should actually be playing Kanan as his young self and Kanan as his middle self, man. Um, I wish him and 50 Cent could work this out, man, because that would be amazing. He would look just like 50 Cent, so it would make way more sense. But I digress. Power Book 4 showrunner inks Lionsgate's deal. Lionsgate's television is keeping one of their key players in its power franchise under its roof. The studio has signed Power Book 4 Force showrunner Gary Lennon to a new deal that sees him continue the helm of the star series while also, 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 also developing further extensions of the power universe. Lennon's deal comes on the heels of four starting production in his third season. Gary's been a major creative force in the power universe, said Kevin Beggs, Lionsgate's television group chair and chief creative officer. We look forward to extending our partnership as we collaborate with stars to create new and unexpected franchise extensions for the power fans. So what that means is that, yo, we about to be lit on this channel. Hey, side note, I know I told y'all I'm going to start reading the 50 Cent book, Hustle Harder, Hustle Smarter. I'm probably going to start reading that tomorrow. What I'll be doing is I'll be reading it and breaking down little small parts of it. I'm going to do it in very, very small parts. I'm going to do a playlist where y'all can um, listen to it all. I'm not going to read a chapter at a time. That's too much. But I'll probably read like a section at a time. It'll probably take me uh, years to read the entire book at the rate that I'm going to read it. But I think it's good for the breakdown. Now, what do I think this means? That ghost spinoff is definitely coming. Um, Power Book uh, 5, The Rise of Ghosts. And I have a theory that I'm a deep dive into, but I believe that Tate and Jukebox spinoff was canceled so they can have more money to play Omari Hardwick. Um, and I just wanted to get that out here so y'all can know that I'm one of the first people who came up with this theory. Because one thing about the Power fans, man, they love to go back and forth about who was first, who was second, who was third. So I want to just get that theory out there. Um, so when I finally do it, y'all don't say, oh my God, he got that from this guy. Check out the original Chicago Hood web series, No Time to Play Fair, Chicago Do's and Don'ts, episode two. It's out now, written by, co-directed by, and starring me, Fairplay2333.